to NIC detection uh, procedure. The first procedure I have already discussed with you is all about uh, RT-PCR method, which is an extensive method giving us a total data not only about a person's uh, tested positive but also a detailed analysis of his of his or her uh, how much infection he is carrying from the CT level. Now in the second method, it's a blood test method. In this method, first only I want to say it's a rapid test method. It's going to be happening within 10 to 15 minutes. You can test from the kits that are available in the market. Normally, a needle prick from anywhere, you can take it from the finger. A needle prick, uh, a little bit amount of blood and then there is a kit which resembles somewhat a pregnancy kit type of thing. You can see, I have already drawn the kit for you. This is the region where the buffer solution is given. The kit is supplied with a buffer. And uh, the sample, that is the blood sample, is going to be put over here. And there are specific areas. There is a control region, C. You can represent it with C. Here it is IgM and IgG. These are standing for the primary and the secondary immune response antibodies. So, if it is primary, uh, primary immune response antibody, then it is standing at IgM and if it is uh, secondary immune response antibody, then it is standing at IgG. So, uh, coronavirus has a specific antibody. This virus has a specification as far as antibody is concerned. But it is not able to detect whether it is SARS-CoV-1 or SARS-CoV-2 because these are familiar, it reads as a familiar family virus. I have said it resembles the pregnancy test kit and there is a control line you can see. When you run the test, means you put a little bit of blood sample over here in this region, it stands for the region of sample, and then you uh, put a little bit buffer. You have to put the buffer, the kit is supplied with a buffer solution. What happens is, uh, due to capillary action, blood, along blood has also got its antibodies, blood, it, uh, due to the capillary action, of the buffer and it carries the entire blood components and it re reaches the point where the uh, control line is there. So, if there is a control line, that means it is signifying the fact that your kit is correct and the test is already run. Next fact is virus uh, means each and every virus has a specific antibody. It result means it is able to recognize, it is signified a particular antibody. In case of coronavirus also, there is a specific antibody. Antibody is generally we, uh, what to say, we denote it with the symbol of Y kind of thing. And uh, what happens is, if our body, just let me give you a hint, what really happens is our body has immune system. This protects us from diseases. Now what happens when this virus attacks our body means it takes us as a host. Our body which has produced antibodies is going to attack and kill that virus. So SARS-CoV-2 has a particular antibody. So if that antibody is present in our body that means at some point of time we have already been infected by SARS-CoV-2. This virus has a particular antibody, but it is unable to detect which SARS-CoV is it called SARS-CoV-2-1, uh, SARS-CoV-2 or SARS-CoV-2-1 uh, or SARS-CoV-1. That it is unable to detect because it uh, recognizes as a similar family virus. But if that antibody is present in our body, it is enough a proof that yes, you have been infected by coronavirus. So let's see how the kit, I'm going back to the explanation of the kit. As I have said, we put little bit blood over here, little prick, we put it over here and then we add the buffer solution in it and we run the test. And we find a line, we have to wait for 10 to 15 minutes, normally plasma which is the watery content of the blood is to be taken. But at home if you do this experimentation or testing, it is not possible for you to extract the plasma and do it. So uh, we are going to do with the whole of the blood. Due to the capillary action, this buffer is going to carry 
blood and its components across the hip. So, if you find a line at the control section, it is a proof that the test is run and it has been that there is no problem as far as the kit is concerned. Now, if you find that your test has run, it's completed, but there is no line in IgM or IgG. IgM, Ig stands for immunoglobin. Immunoglobin. And this signifies the primary immune response antibody. So if there is no line in the primary immune response antibody or the secondary immune response antibody also, there is no line. But at the control section there is line. That means the test is run. You are out of danger. You are not tested positive. You are negative. You do not carry SARS-CoV-2. So the test is finished over there. Now if you find that yes your test is run and you find there is a line in IgM primary immune response antibody. That means in the very recent time, almost one or two weeks or currently also, you are carrying the infection, SARS-CoV-2. So immediately you must go to the clinic and take the necessary steps, that is self-quarantine, isolation, because you are the person who is going to carry it to others. So you can transmit to be found to, as I am finished with C line and IgM, now I'm talking about the secondary immune response. Suppose you run the test and you find there is a line in IgM, sorry IgG, that is secondary immune response antibody. That does mean that a couple of times you have been infected with this virus earlier, much earlier. This infection was there and now you have uh, kind of uh, developed some immunity and you are in a safer state but you are still positive. So this is a concern IgM and IgG but if you are running the test along means you find a line in IgM, IgG and in the control section which is showing that the kit is proper. So if you find a line in IgG and IgM that does mean this virus has attacked you earlier because it is secondary immune response antibody. So you have been kind of immune also. You have, if without mutation that virus attacks you again, you are kind of immune. But at the same time, your primary immune response antibody is showing the result that currently you are carrying this virus. So you are in a good position to transmit the disease. Naturally, you should be very careful and all the initiatives must be taken. So, as I have explained, this blood test method is a very rapid method, 10 to 15 minutes it takes to run it successfully. You can even do it at home, it resembles the pregnancy, pregnancy test kits only. Uh, but when you are performing this, keep it in mind, neither the RT-PCR test which I have explained in my other video, nor this one, the blood test is going to give a standalone result. So results might be faulty, maybe there was some problem with the kit in this case, maybe the buffer solution was not problem, uh, was a problem, it was not working properly. In RT-PCR I said that there, there are several factors, even reagents are factors. So, Properly, if anything doesn't work, slightest mistake also can cause uh, negative results, false negative, false positive results. Naturally, uh, a standard low risk method in my earlier method also RTPCR have specified unless and until skilled technicians, proper lab means collection of samples, storage, transportation, reagent contamination can take place, buffer may not work. So several problems can be there. Due to slightest mistake, a false result can be there. So IgG, IgM, these are antibody tests. Coronavirus has a specific antibody, but it is unable to detect which antibody means which which is it, virus is it. Is it SARS-CoV-1 or 2? Because it resembles, it reads as it recognizes as a similar family virus. At the same time, one more point I would like to keep in mind that whenever SARS-CoV-2 virus is attacked, there is nothing to panic about it. Let us all join hands to fight this global crisis, do uh, practice the social distancing and be uh, stay tuned with my channel, bring on more videos.